Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. And today we have our final bonus episode of the series, but that doesn't mean our Octo action is completed. First off, we're gonna be checking out whatever is in this mystery gift box that we got for completing, I guess, the Octo Expansion or something, we'll find out. But beyond that, Stay tuned for some of the upcoming online mode episodes where I'll be doing, of course, playing online with the different Octolings, checking out all the gear we unlocked for completing Octo Expansion. Tons of awesome stuff, so the action doesn't start here, stay tuned. But for right now, or doesn't stop here. It, it, it definitely started a while ago. Anyways, let's go ahead and open the box. Oh yeah, oh, so this is everything we unlocked through the story mode. So we got the uh, Neo Octoling like, glasses, the Neo Octoling armor, Neo Octoling boots, Null visor replica, null visor or, or null armor replica, null boot replica, old timey hat, old timey clothes, old timey shoes, and then finally the conductor cap. So very cool, we'll be checking all that kind of stuff out in the online multiplayer series. For now though, we're gonna go back in and see what else we can do. You might have saw that I was actually running around and playing as an octoling right there. So we can just play as him whenever, which is super duper exciting. We've reached a promised land and it's been a while, Agent Eight. Glad to see you're alive and kicking. I got curious how things were down here, and you know, this place has grown on me. Where's who? Oh, Agent 3 had business to finish up uh, and headed back out back on patrol. If there's anything you've got left to do down here, I'll be glad to offer my support. Okay. Number 10,008, nice to, s to have you aboard. We, we applaud all of your previous efforts. It seems you've safely ach achieved your goals. Unfortunately, Kamaboko is in disarray. But thankfully, Deep Sea Metro service has continued without interruption. All we do, we do for the satisfaction of our customers. Please allow me to announce a new service that we have just begun to offer. This service allows you to exchange your CQ points for items, ooh. Uh, we have a nice selection of premium offerings that should prove quite useful. This service is available at Deep Sea Metro Central Station. I encourage you to stop by. This brings my announcement to a close. Safe travels, my friend. So we can buy more stuff. Somewhere in Deep Sea Metro, you hear the sound of a door opening. Wow, and that's, uh, have you noticed number 10,008? Another new service, Mem Metal Data, has been added to the Deep Sea Metro map. Oh. Stations marked with a Mem Metal Data logo are worth a visit. Once you arrive, simply speak to, to me on the station platform. May your journey be a pleasant one. What is all of this? Okay, I was gonna read through all the Mem Cakes and see that, but that might be something we say for the end of the episode. And then we got a bonus track as well. Did I read this? No, 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 we, we read this. Okay, yeah, this was with Agent 2. I didn't realize it was it, it was called a bonus track. Um. Okay, I wanted to go ahead and check this stuff out then. Sure, this is a little odd. Is this gonna be bonus metal? Like as in the tickets? I I, I definitely might as well talk to you. Uh, when it comes to weapon choices, let's just go ahead and do the heavy splatling again and talk to you. Welcome. Take this Mem Metal as a token of our appreciation for visiting so many stations. These medals can be exchanged for item at the Deep Sea Metro Station. You got a Mem Metal. Metal. Try using them at, at a Deep Sea Metro Station. Okay, but do I have to complete the level? What if I leave? Back to train. Will it still be there? So Mem Metals are different from tickets. But if I check that one out again, oh, it's not here anymore. So we're just gonna go ahead and quickly do that. I guess we don't have the complete level, which is actually really nice. I'm guessing this is just bonus completion because all these levels seem to be levels you wouldn't really have to complete to get all the things. So a little bit of extra stuff for us, which I'll gladly take. We're just gonna go, oh, I remember this level being tough. Uh, welcome. Take this Mem Metal as a token of our appreciation for visiting so many stations. These metals can be exchanged for the devil. blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I can't wait to check out the Deep Sea Metro Station and see if there's like any new stuff we can do. Cause like if I can buy stuff, that's more stuff we can showcase, and that sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, so there's that one done. I think yeah. Hypercolor station. So there's a couple of these we can grab. So I might as well go for them and see what ends up happening. Uh, <laughs> not too much more I can say about it, but I do want to say a big thank you to your support throughout this series, and I'm glad so many people are excited to see me play the Octolings online. That's gonna be fun, and of course we unlocked the new um, Octo Splatter weapon. It, I, I guess just for you know completing the story mode as well. Last episode was so intense. Like I'm still thinking about it. It's been like 24 hours since I recorded. I was like, what an amazing ending to it. It was so awesome. Okay, so there's that one done. We have 
a couple more to go. Are more popping up as I do this? Does this not actually count? I'm not sure, one, two, three, four, five. How about before we do any more? I should check to see how many I have by, I guess, going here. I don't know where else to check. Uh, let's give it a shot and see what ends up happening. So let's check out the store and see if I have two of them or three of them. I should at this point, two or three. A door opened, the blender's just in tatters over here, but a door did open. It was a locker door. What is going on with this? Investigate. Your memories of that day, two years ago, have returned. Now, prepare to ride those squintastic grooves once again. Whoa, what's happening? Hold on, what is this? Is this like a rematch? <laughs> Hold on, what's going on? What is this? It is a rematch, but against normal Agent 3. Ha ha ha, look at this! Okay, this is very cool, surpassed the hero within. So this is sort of me tackling my memories, I guess, in a way. Okay, the auto bomb's going for me. I gotta be careful, this is gonna be more difficult, isn't it? I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, I got you. Somehow I got you there, that was very close. But I'm, okay, I'm just blue color, which I'm not used to. I sort of look like the, the blue inkling, but uh, you know, like the main one. You know, like how they, for the launch characters, it was sort of like the orange inkling girl and the blue inkling boy. I sort of look like the blue inkling boy. Gotta be careful of that armor. Oh, they got me though, that is so tough. Oh, this might take me more time than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like a short and sweet episode reading all the mem cakes and that's it, really. But it seems like there's a lot more. What do I have as a bomb? Not anything as good as an auto bomb, I'll tell you that much. I need to run around a little bit until I get, oh man. Oh man, <laughs> this is so far tougher than the actual final boss, which is a little crazy. Jeez, you immediately broke that. Okay, keep moving. If I could just play a little bit of hard to get for now, that'd be great. Okay, I got my armor back, so let's go ahead and start beating you up again. I don't think she has armor, so that's pretty nice for us, but man, is it easy to, no, for that stuff to happen. No, 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 auto bomb's back, jeez. I keep getting hit immediately, which is not good, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna throw a bomb. Oh, that, that got you, I think, I hope. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Where are you now? Oh, you're getting stuck. Oh, but that still broke my armor. A little too close, I guess. Oh my gosh, I can't even get past like the first phase. And there's not gonna be any checkpoints, I know that much. Did that gets you, I guess the splashdown gets rid of the bomb, which is sort of a pain in the booty. But this is such an interesting boss fight compared to literally any other boss fight we've had, because it's it's in some way just sort of an AI battle, but it's way more intense and they have a, a huge advantage, but it's really cool. I, I was sort of, you know, you know, I'm sort of surprised there aren't more bosses like this in the game, in the game series at this point. I just dropped my phone and made a loud noise. More than one auto bomb is not fair though, okay? No, okay, a lot more than just one on a bomb. Can you stop it? Where'd you go? Where did, really, you were really quick. I don't appreciate that, I picked up my phone. Okay, so, come on. I'm gonna throw a bomb at you. Is that gonna get you? I guess not quite, but I'm getting you one way or another. But this is so cool to get like a, a Agent 3 rematch. Okay, so I haven't broken my shield yet, so that's something I should take advantage of, ow. Come on, come on, get you, I, ah, oh, man, I'm awful. This is so tough. Yeah, that just destroys the bomb. It didn't even explode. It definitely didn't, I didn't hear the noise for it, which is usually a pretty noticeable noise, so I need to do something about that. I wanna fill up and then let you slam down and then throw the bomb at you. And that didn't quite get you, but it did put you in a weird position, but I guess it did for me too, because I'm the one that gets splatted every time. This is so difficult, it's crazy. Okay, I wasn't close enough to get hit, but I was almost. Come on, come on, oh my gosh. Stop it, stop it, don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay, so, oh, look at that, got you all ready for that, that was pretty quick. So I just need to wait for this to restore. Okay, we got our shield back. The problem now is I don't know what you're gonna do. Throw the bomb at ya. Come on, I know you got the bubbles going on, that was what happened last time. Yeah, the bubbles are sort of new too, so that's always pretty cool. I mean, I guess they're not new, but like they, they weren't in Splatoon 1, so Agent 3's picked up a couple new tricks as well, you know, that's really cool. Oh, I exploded your bubble. I, I bursted your bubble there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, I almost got you, I know I do, but you apparently almost got me. Got you, okay, so I really need my shield to restore. I need to fill some of this stuff up with my ink to sort of get some more ground control. Oh, are you, okay, for a second, it looked like you had like an octo sniper, not an octo sniper, but like a, like a splatter shot or something, because it looked like you had a reticle. You're just throwing a ton of auto bombs everywhere. Like, that's uncool. My least favorite player to go against so are all the auto bomb throwers. Now you have like 10 of them. Oh, I was hoping I could get like a checkpoint for that, because that was definitely the farthest we've gone. So I'm getting better. Definitely getting a little bit, ow, better. I mean, I could, it seems like I could still stand to improve. 
but better I'm getting, slowly but surely. Okay, throw that, sort of force you forward, so you have to take a lot of shots from me, and then I can get spotted by an uh, auto bomb. Oh my gosh, it's so hard not to get hit with that initial stuff. Maybe if I hid, and then throw a bomb at you, because you're gonna throw that auto bomb, and I'm gonna ig ignore it. No, you threw it on top of the thing! That is so uncool. Ah, oh, that is, stop it with the auto bombs! That is so tough! Okay, I need to hide. And then I need to toss a bomb at you. You're gonna toss your auto bomb. It's not gonna hit me this time, though, I'll tell you that much. Or maybe it will. Don't you dare. Come on, come on, I got you a little bit. I need to get you a little bit more. Come on, come on, got you! See, how's that one feel? I didn't lose any of my shield that time, I don't think. I'm not like red and sparkly like you usually are when you have lost your shield, so I think I'm good. Okay, I need to be careful. I need to throw a bomb at you. Don't think it landed. Okay, come on, come on. Oh boy, no! You pushed me back at the perfect time. Come on, I gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Oh, I see that auto bomb. Oh, I know you're about to get, come on, no! What did you throw at me there, just a normal bomb? That's sort of unfair that you can equip multiple bombs. I wanna be able to equip multiple bombs. Oh geez. Okay, come on, come on, get you. I know you're low, but this auto bomb really doesn't like me. So, so far we haven't broken our shield, so if I can be careful, that'd be great. Come on, where'd you go now? You're landing over that way? Oh, you're done for. You are done for. You are done for, I said. Okay, maybe not yet. Okay, I got out of there somehow. But you're not. You're done for. Get back here. Stop doing the hard to get thing where you run around. Got you, okay, perfect, amazing. Fill this stuff up as much as we can before she shows up again. Oh my gosh, it just never ends. I need to fill up on ink, throw a bomb at you. You're gonna start throwing your bubbles at me, which I don't like, and you're over this way. Ooh, got you a good couple times there. Oh, but you're getting me, you're getting me. Come on, come on, come on. I wish I could roll around with a normal splatter shot. Look at that, I haven't broken any of my shield so far. Not the farthest I've made it, but about to tie with that. Okay. Oh, did that get you? Not quite. Okay, my aim's getting a little bit better, but I'm running out of ink. This is where you just throw a ton of auto bombs and then like fill up the turf so it's harder for me to get away from them. And that's such a good strategy, but it's so hard for me to do anything about. Yes, I got you! Okay, this is the farthest I've made it. I need my shield to restore though, so I need to just be careful for now. Come on, shield. Come on, shield, nice. Okay, so shield's back up and running. Missile's my way, oh gosh. They are just going everywhere. And she's still filling stuff up and still throwing out auto bombs. I don't like it. Oh man, her UFO thing is just flying around. This is so interesting, but I, I also, I don't like it, it's too stressful. Come on, keep moving. Don't you dare, don't you dare. I wanna keep my, my shield as much as possible. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it, we can do it, I know we can. What are you gonna do? More missiles? Am I supposed to be throwing bombs at you? Because that actually makes this really complicated and difficult when I'm thinking about it. No! Okay, okay, I gotta play it safe for a little bit until my shield gets back up because I do not want that to be a thing. Come on, got it, awesome. So you're throwing more missiles at me, I'm throwing bombs at you. I don't know if it's hitting you or not because there's too much action, so I just sort of have to hope it is. But I didn't even realize that for a little bit, so I feel silly. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. I know what you're trying to do, and I don't like it. Okay, that should be getting you for sure. I don't know though. Jeez, it just, it never ends, it's crazy. Okay, now she's this way, which is both good and bad because I'm, I'm pretty close to where I can toss this at her. Okay, no, that's so uncool. This is so difficult. I don't even know too much what to do about it. Just like hang back for now, of course, but. uh, Got it, that's gonna land, that's gonna land. Yeah, okay, I landed that one for sure, but it wasn't enough. Okay, get that, oh gosh, oh gosh, no, 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 did that really roll off? Why does it have to be at such a tilted angle? It makes it really hard to actually make it stay. That one's gonna stay. Yes, okay, that one definitely hit her, but she's still going. Agent three, you crazy. That's gonna get her, right? Nope, <laughs> just because I threw it right as I started moving. Okay, that's getting her. I'm definitely, like, is this not what I'm supposed to do? I think it is, it just takes a while. It's just not easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Throw, toss it up there. That got her again. Okay, missiles are coming my way, I gotta be careful. It's like, it's weird, because it's difficult, yeah, but it's not like difficult in the same way. It's, it, oh, you. It's definitely like a weird kind of difficulty where it's like, I'm definitely not gonna die in this section, I would hope not. Maybe it's just because I'm not hitting her enough, like she's recovering, like I do. And it's like, if that's the case, I'm definitely not gonna ever win this, ever. Because I just can't throw bombs that often. 
Oh geez, and I'm out of ink. And the missiles are heading my way, so it's an awful time. So like, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I could just get up to her. I can't like go on top of these like obstacles. So, I mean, I could get close enough maybe to land a couple shots on her, but with her throwing auto bombs and stuff, that doesn't seem like very practical. I can't get up there. Whoa, shield's broken. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from the auto bombs as much as I can until my shield's back. Try to pay attention to where she is. Got it, okay. I'm starting to think like I'm doing something wrong. But I don't know. It's like, did that one land? It's it's so impossible for me to tell. This is a really silly section. Okay, that definitely landed on her. Keep moving, keep charging. See, like I guess that one, even though it was on the platform, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That is just unfair. I don't understand. I don't like that part. I was like, oh, that part isn't too bad to not fail on, but if I have to do what I think I have to do there, which is land two bombs, not only like in close timing to one another to actually damage her down, because I think she's recovering, like you know, like the player does. But I feel like that's really lame when it's a boss fight where I can't actually reach her with my main weapon and you can only charge up bombs so fast, especially when like that's already difficult enough when you don't have a ton of auto bombs and stuff coming your way and missiles, seeking missiles, like come on. Oh, I don't know how to feel about that. That is not cool. Okay, come on, give this a shot. Oh boy, move it, move it, move it. Okay, so you're gonna be doing this. Autobomb is still ruining my fun over here. Come on, I can get you, I can get you, I can get you. My shield isn't broken yet. Okay, you're gonna jump. I'm gonna go for you right away. You're gonna try to roll out of the way. Not happening this time. So there's the first one done. I'm getting better at that one. I had to lose three times to say that, so I don't know if that's actually the case. But you're going this way now. I'm gonna throw the bomb. You're gonna start throwing your bubbles everywhere. You seem to have misunderstood where I was. What happened, like, I don't know. I guess her shots were going through her own bubbles there. At least give me like a more in-depth or idea of some of the mechanics in this game and how you can just be totally owned by them. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, so she should be on the platform now. Which, where is it going? Over this way, got it. Fill up again, and then throw it. Oh, I got her, I got her, I got her. Okay, I don't know where she went, but I think I got her. No? Yes, yes, we did it, okay. Thank goodness, oh my gosh, it was insane. Okay, now she's just jumping around all crazy, and I don't know what to do about that. I might not be able to do anything, just trying to survive. Okay, come on, keep getting her. We did it, yes, that was almost it when we failed before. Oh my gosh, Age, inner Agent 3 defeated. So like, yeah, that's like our inner, Agent 3, our inner self, our inner enemy. Defeated, we're a better person now, right? That was interesting for sure. Now what? I don't know. You've defeated the hero within yourself. You feel like the freshest octoling ever. Yay, cool. Golden toothpick acquired. Uh, poke it in your hair and get stylin. So another new item there. Investigate. Ooh, here we go. So we did get three of them just for showing up. So I was right about that. But where can we trade tickets for items? Isn't that something we could do around here? I'm not really sure. For now, let's go ahead and see this. Uh, you got a drink ticket. You'll be able to use it once you've returned to Ingopolis Square. Okay. And we're just gonna get more and more of those. Ooh, you got 20,000 tickets. Try using these during tests or at the vending machine. This is the vending machine. What are you talking about? Um, Ability chunk acquired. Nice. But what vending machine? Is it this one as well? Ooh, exchange 15,000 for an item. Okay, so this, yeah, okay. So it looks like we can't get like actual abilities. It's $20,000, nice. Like any kind of uh, clothing or anything. But th this is still pretty cool. Another 8,000, nice. What are we gonna get with this one? 4,000. Okay, and what about this one? 8,000. I like it. So we're doing pretty decent. I don't know if there's like any specific item you can lock. You get a food ticket, which is extra money. So it looks like, you know, just some bonus stuff, but nothing must have. Like there's no like item exclusive you can get from this. But ooh, that's a lot of extra cash right now, right there. Okay, very cool. So I could, you know, continue to get those uh, tokens and cash them in and get more stuff, I guess. I don't know if that goes on indefinitely. So we could try that right now and sort of see how things go. Do you have anything else to say? Represent one time for the Inkopolis Square. I like Octos more than I ever did dare. It's strange for a squid my age to admit, but your octos really aren't half bad. I want to help build a bridge of peace between Inklings and Octolings. I hear you can get some good deals from that vending machine. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that he's, you know, being nicer and nicer to Octolings, or at least, you know, the, the nice ones. Have some peace in this world. But yeah, I guess that's how we can get stuff from the vending machine. So we'll try to go to a couple more levels and get those tokens and then see what ends up happening. We can get some extra stuff from it. I just don't know if like more pop up. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the screen right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get one and see how many on the screen after that. Cause you know, getting those from uh, CQ Cumber and not even playing the level, that counts. So this is just sort of kind of waiting through loading screens. So we'll give this a shot. Just talk to him really quickly. We already know what he's gonna say. So just get more mem medals. Got it, okay, and then back to train and see how many there are now. I'm guessing there's gonna be just six, but there might just like be an indefinite amount. There's still one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so yeah, there is just a finite amount of them. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Maybe if we show up every once in a while, more will come back, but it feels like that might be a cheap way to earn up stuff. But I don't know, we'll find out. So we're just gonna go ahead and get all these. I don't wanna make you sit through all of it, so I'll be right back, and then we'll go ahead and read all of the mem cakes. Okay, so I got all of the, uh, whatever they were called, the mem medals that I could find on the map right now. If more pop up and I happen to see them, I'll get them. But for now, let's read through every mem cake and get an idea of the story of all of this. These are what we've been collecting. They're obviously like the Sunken Sea Scrolls in Splatoon 1 and 2. So let's give this a shot, starting with A. And we're just gonna read through each one. The Inkling Squid. At last we meet, my so-called foe, but, did, but is our fate to spray this hate? Perhaps we'll learn in the depths below. And then this is Inkling Girl. That was Inkling Squid. This is Inkling Girl Pink. With tresses pink and eyes a blank, a smile so faint, it hides your faint. Oh, we can zoom in as well. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you slip on past, outfoxed, outflanked. I like all these like different like poems and rhymes and stuff. Inkling Girl Orange. You paint the turf with graceful strokes. With watchful eye, I breathe a sigh. From sniper's perch, I go for broke. Inkling Boy Green, he looks so disappointed. The rolling column splatters all. A stray shot sta shakes, the trees awake. The summer turns, here comes the fall. Inkling Boy Blue, he looks angry. You gaze seaward with azure hope. Between each blink you calmly think, as when you use a splatter scope. Octarian, the world I knew seems like a trap. I'm drawn now to the strange and new. Would my old friends? Think me a sap? I would hope not. Twintical Octotrooper. Two fat and heavy locks hang low. They frame your face above a base of stumpy leg and pigeon toe. Octocopter, ugh, these guys. A hilltop picnic, friends and fruit. Your twirling blade, or your whirling blades provide a shade. I raise a hand in mock salute. Interesting. So obviously these are her memories of, you know, just living with Octarians as well. The Octobomber. Destroy your troubles, bombs away. A tempting thought, bring all to naught. No wonder your friends tend to stray. Pentacook. Uh, these guys, I don't like these guys very much. Uh, you face away, thinking me blind, like I don't know what you won't show. Your love is still clear from behind. Oh. Octopod, so principled you might explode, but when you burst, who's really cursed? Your love lo ones have to bear that load. Octostamp, do these have like different things on each other? Both the same, okay. Um, Octostamp, it seems to sl you a sly attack, but for your pains you make no gains. You only get shot in the back. Octo Zeppelin, these big things. Uh, low loftily, you float on high, suspended there in starry air, or starry air, as you drip purple passing by. Tentacle, you had to pop out of the bosses. How desolate this star-marked limb is what waits me the safe, same fate? I must not dwell, it's much too grim. Octoling, though parted by the ocean deep, my oldest friend we meet again. I touch your face, you rouse me for, you rouse from sleep. Which is interesting, it never really explained why some of them were like green and blue instead of, I guess just to you know, signify they're different than an enemy. A chum, you overwhelm with crowds and throngs. At every turn, you writhe and churn. Why can't we simply get along? And are these, like, is this a different line now? Oh yeah, we're definitely on the sea line already. Okay, uh, you overwhelm with crowds and, yeah, so we already read this, but we can zoom in, we can zoom out and in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, <laughs> fly fish. Oh, these are like one of my least favorite bosses from uh, Samaran. Now nights grow long, summer abates. The tides recede as squids stampede. Uh, 
with fireworks we celebrate. Scrapper. Oh yeah, these guys. Your motor whines, the ocean roars. No ink can haunt your firm assault. Let these invaders know the score. Stinger. Oh, these guys on all the pots and pans. One problem stacked too tall to see. Just chip away and day by day, you'll grow to live a life of carefree. Okay, Steelhead, these are my least favorite bosses. I hate these guys, I don't hate them, I just heavily dislike them. Where love could blossom, spite congeals. Faced with these thieves, I aim and heave a cluster bomb right in the fields. Steel Eel. The hunt leads down a winding path, tightly coiled and well oiled. These dirty squids could use a bath. That's, that's true. Maws. Ah, oh, these things that come out from the ground. Erupting eel glimpses the sky, its eyelids squint against the glint of sun unseen by creatures shy. The drizzler, oh, these guys aren't fun to deal with either, with the umbrella. A sudden drizzle bars my way, it's no hour for this shower, but light rain won't ruin my day. Goldie, yeah, yeah, I like these ones. Each glittered scale shines so bright, you're my last ditch to strike it rich, and tilt in my bank, balance right. Spawn point. <laughs> But finality's not what it seems. When your end comes, rine, rise up and run. Don't let defeat dissolve your dreams. The tower, so these were all like in-game things. Tower, I topple from the tower ledge and choke back tears to see the gears eliminate our hard-won edge. Uh, that's how I feel when I play tower. Defense, uh, Rainmaker, <laughs> we're torn apart so many times, I must be bold and keep my hold to make their team pay with their crimes. Power Clam from uh, Clan Blitz. When four are one, they make a team, but one from 10, uh, come again? It's like some kind of fever dream. Yeah, that's what Clan Blitz feels like. Bumper, you teach the virtues of the still, and yet I'm spurned the lesson I learned. My problem is I have no chill. Squid Bumper, another squid? I'm gonna hurl, it's just litter. Please consider how the octolings see the world. Yeah, I don't know what the squid bumper is. Balloon. Obvious, oblivious adrift and round, you hold inside a tempting prize. Who doesn't let love that popping sound? A tree. <laughs> to plant a tree, tree is its own reward. After you're gone, it will grow on in memory's initial scarred. And I'll get a splatter shot. I guess we're going in a different line with weapons. The polished nozzle gleams and shines. Unblemished gun reflects the sun. A good day's match, victory's mine. Splat roller. I shake the squeegee to, to and fro. As I do laps, my color saps. A fair trade for a mighty blow. Splat bomb. Closer to pyramids than spears. They let fly the bombs. A sigh then calm. A pillow stained with ink or tears. Burst bomb. Not everyone can be a scourge. Intense combat, I toss this splat. A monument to my last surge. Suction bomb. <laughs> Look at this little face. Uh. Thought it flies errant, and errant or amiss, should its sly arc hit near the mark, your fate is sealed with its kiss. <laughs> Curling bomb. No stealth or keel, not for you. You've you paved the way as plain as day, foreshadowing imminent spew. <laughs> Auto bomb. Uh, we've dealt with these enough in today's episode. Um, its friendly face, its easy stride. That's all front. Let me be blunt. It leaves you with nowhere to hide. Oh, look at this, we got Pearl. I rule, you said. It's in my blood. Don't step to me, especially if you can't hang out or hang with my best bud. Marina, they told me you had gone to ground, and you in your rad groove was concrete proof that you had made it safe and sound. Aw. Flow. Two friends who are who have never are apart. One always cool, the other stews. I love them both with all of my heart. Aw. Joe Fonzo, I watch your tendrils endulate, a blue bouquet that twirls and sways as central mass swells and deflates. That's sort of weird. Sheldon, hmm, slosher, inkbrush, curling bomb? I'd gladly browse for hours and hours. Your gushing ramble brings me calm. Cool. Bisque, yeah, he sells, the, he sells the shoes, I think. Actually, no. Yeah? Maybe the, no, he has to sell the shoes. Yeah, I think so. Back, black bulging eyes stare from inside. What does he see deep within me? From his sharp gaze, no one can hide. And then we got Krusty, no, Krusty Sean. Yeah, Krusty Sean used to sell shoes, I think in the first game, but he's at the, the shack now. How long must I wait in this in his line? Such tragic lack of crust, crusty snack. I'm almost there, it will be mine. Merch. 
Behind his dour, one-eyed stare, our urchin friend conceals a yen for making the most out of gear. Oh, I missed one. Judd and little Judd, a patch of sun, a fresh caught fish, no bribe will swerve your eye for turf. However, desperately we wish. Mr. Grizz, oh yeah, Grizz, here he is. He's sort of, yeah, he's like in a weird shape, but I like it. Uh, oh, what I'd give to be employed, better I'd say to work for pay than ride the subway through the void. Tent attack, okay, so now we get all the clothes logos. Our sweat dripping from every pore, the harsh hot sun won't stop this run, we grit our teeth and ask for more. Zeko, I hate the sea but love the breeze, the sandy shore I will endure, just for that brisk is a furious tease. Scallop, the, a scallop brand atop your crown, will turn some hens but really shreds when it simply turned around. Okay. Squid Force, <laughs> this is one of my favorite logos. Squids often wear this as a strike. With bomb and brush, it's quite a rush. Wish I could know what that was like. Well, soon you will. Firefin, your toot is righteous, I, as you say. Is your science as defiant? Prove that your battle rhymes can slay. Zinc, I see you standing in the rain within a storm forever warm, powerful as a hurricane. Inkline, put down the phone, go shelve your book, get ready champ, it's time to camp, we'll share a drink from the brook. Okay, and then Tony Kensa. Constructed of glass and concrete, a city stays in dull drab grays till we splash color in its streets. Junior Mark, mistakes of youth teach us a lot, we skate too fast or have a blast and learn quickly not to get caught. Yeah, this is a different line now. And the junior, of course, like the uh, spot of shot junior. So your roll mole. When going through here, play it cool or get a clue and don't go through. I won't bend on this, them's the rules. Reminds me of <laughs> Animal Crossing. I ship it logo. Oh yeah, because uh, like this is one of the uh, shipping things. I pack my feelings in a box, a parcel stuffed with hope and love and trimmed with stamps unorthodox. Familiar graffiti. I've seen this, but I'm not sure where. Just what the splat am I looking at? Is it a frog or a brown bear? Definitely not a brown bear. Little Max. How I admire Little Max, the highest rank to be so swank. Thought my rivals have heart attacks. Marie, oh, hey, here we go. The tides go out and take the light. How will I greet you when we meet? It keeps me up on ink stained nights. Then we got Callie. Your song inspired a blush of love. It gave my heart a fresh new start. Now I ascend to shores above. DJ Octavio, I leave without ceremony. Don't be too sore, I wanted more. My sincerest apology. I guess, yeah, DJ Octavio is like sort of the leader of all the Octarians, so. The, sar the Sardinium. When I got my hands on these fish, I might exchange them on the range, except that they look so delish. Sunken scroll, a mysterious rolled up and bound. Oh, what's the use? It's too obtuse. I'll dump it in the lost and found. We found them all, don't worry. Uh, key, beneath a summer sky I walk, through valley, plain, and back again, dreaming of what you might unlock. Mini Zapfish, the rhythm etched in little jolts, those idols sing and put a spring in my steps as I crank the vaults. Zapfish, in encased in sturdy spear of glass, it breaks my heart to see you caught with whiskers trembling as I pass. Yeah, I guess because she, you know, obviously works with Octolings and Octarians who trapped the Zapfish in the first two games, so that makes sense. Power Egg, though slick with slime, I keep my grip. The chill seeps through my gift from you. I mustn't let this cargo slip. White tea, now we got clothing, huh? I don't quite trust this stark white, white brand. It's more for squids or little kids. And where's the pop? It's so oh so bland. King Tank. This swell a swill, uh, this swells a stir of royal pride. In small or large, you lead the charge. The ink of nobles flows inside. Scallop hoodie. On colder days, I like these clothes. With other threads, I'd stay in bed. It's too frigid to be exposed. I like hoodies; they're cool. Mint Dacronix. Oh, I think I have these. <laughs> I see you walking down the street. You think you're slick in those lime kicks, but they'd look fresher on my feet. Ooh. Neon sea slugs, the squishing footsteps trudge in muck, their paths reveal by heavy heel, my heart beats quick, a stroke of luck. Orange arrows, such devilish may care, or devilfish may care, couture, the colors clash and make a splash without a doubt, footwear du jour. 
Toko, Toko Raka Mesh. It keeps the elements away, no rain, nor heat, nor wind, nor sleet. But does it guard against ink sprite? No, it doesn't. Uh, knitted hat, oh, I like this one. No matter thickness, brim, or gauge, a well-done pearl will all the world. These handmade hats are all the rage. Okay. At last we meet my so-called foe, but is our fate to spray this hate? Perhaps we'll learn in the depths below. Oh no, no we are, okay, so we got all three of them. Oh cool, there we go, so we read all of them. So with that being said, the only thing we can really do at this point is go back out and cash in the rest of our tokens and then we're done. And like I said, stay tuned for uh, the all nine series. We'll be playing Octolings online, checking out all this gear, all that amazing stuff. But uh, yeah, that's gonna basically wrap it up. I am so glad we were able to play this. I had so much fun, and hopefully you did too. Obviously, if they ever release another Octo expansion or any kind of other expansion to the game, you bet I'll go ahead and play it. But for right now, let's go ahead and exchange our stuff for an item we got ourselves. More money, tons of money now. What else are we gonna get? We're gonna get, you got three drink tickets. Very cool. What do we got for this one? Uh, we got Ability Chunk acquired. You'll be able to use it once you've returned to Ingapo Square. And then we got another food ticket that's gonna be tons of extra experience. This one's gonna have uh, 40,000. Wow, that's crazy. Are we gonna get any more tickets? Tons more money, food ticket. And then finally we get 14 drink tickets. So I don't have enough tickets for anything else. I would have to replay for more. I don't know if you get anything more, but I guess it's really it. I just want to sort of inspect the blender over here. It's totally broken. Can we go past it? Can we walk around? Can I investigate? Oh, 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 remember. Remember the fight, remember the light, back. So this is where we could replay some of those levels if we wanted. How cool is that? And is there anything this way? I mean, there's more of the train. Which of course, there's graffiti all over it. And then like maybe this door can open up or something? I don't think so, but we might as well go and check it out. No, look at how small we are compared to this door. We don't even reach the handle. Okay, weird. But with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. If you want to support a video, make sure, oh gosh. <laughs> If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Agent Zebra so now you've watched at the end that you are a zebra tasking viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.